Roswell police pull over a golf cart in the middle of a January night. How old are you? I'm 13. You're 13? Do you have ID on you or anything like that? What are you doing out here at 13 years old? Oh, I think he totally stole it. <laughs> you can see ice clinging to the boy's arms. Weather records show it was 17 degrees, headed down to a low of 12. <sighs> Dang, it's cold. Officers warm up inside their heated cruisers. Oh, it's so cold. It's cold out there. It's chilly, chilly. Again, you're not under arrest. I'm just detaining you, okay? And at first, Officer Cheryl Dickerson puts the boy in her heated patrol car. I've got a 13-year-old detained right now. Oh, am going to jail for nothing. I didn't say you were going to jail. I said you were detained, okay? We're trying to figure out... Everybody's going to jail because you always go to jail. That's not true. He's not going to tell you the truth. He hasn't told you the truth since he met you. Yeah, so I don't know, but he's 13 yeah. from what I can tell. I mean. he's 24. Yeah, I think there's some issues there. Yeah. I'm gonna say, listen to me. <laughs> I'm not asking you what you go by, I'm asking you what your name is. Well, I've about lost my patience. I mean, he's lying to you. Yeah, I'm gonna call Sergeant Elsie. Sergeant Daniel Elsie is called to the scene. The sergeant immediately gets in the patrol car with the boy, turns off the heat, puts all the windows down, then sits in a cruiser with heat. Yeah, he can not say anything if it's warm. Oh. So he can sit over there and be cold. Okay. That's why I rolled your windows down. Let him get a little chill. Officers laugh in their warm patrol car <laughs> <laughs> while the 13 year old boy is left to freeze. Getting cold yet, Ann? You can take it cool. So can I, because I've got heat in this car. He's freezing him out. Yeah, I can see your breath. It's pretty cold back there. Keep telling me. Is it cold in the car, you're asking? Yeah. Yeah, it's freezing in there. Well, he's got all the windows rolled down and the heat off. You're going to hang tight right here since you can't remember mom's phone number. And if I can make contact with mom, then we'll get some heat going, all right? Then Officer Dickerson cuts the mic on her body camera. I'm gonna mute this. Uh, I'm gonna mute this. Sergeant Greg Fryson shows up and takes Sergeant Elsie for a walk. Records show he put a stop to the abuse. Come on out. Put your head. Did we find out where mom was? Yep. This video was viewed more than a dozen times by Sergeant Elsie's supervisor. In the latest annual review, the lieutenant wrote, Sergeant Elsie did make a poor decision regarding the safety of a suspect, a poor decision that was not in line with department values. But supervisors also wrote, Sergeant Elsie sets a very positive example and gave him higher scores than the year before, much higher than Sergeant Fryson, who was credited with confronting him. Sergeant Elsie wasn't punished, he was rewarded with Supervisor of the Year. That's Police Chief Rusty Grant last April, who also signed off on the annual reviews in May. No internal affairs investigation of the January incident was launched until July, days after we demanded copies of this video under the Open Records Act. Chief Grant, when did you first learn about the intentional freezing of a 13-year-old boy? I've told you that, that you know, the investigations, uh, that instance being investigated, and you know, I'll get back with you when the investigation is complete. With respect, sir, there was no investigation for seven months until we asked for the video. Is that correct? I, I'm not, there, there was an investigation. But beyond that, I'm not going to comment on that. The supervisor of the year is now on paid administrative leave, but his picture remains on the wall of police headquarters right under the chiefs. Can't you be honest with the people of Roswell and say when you learned? Was it before you handed I'm Sergeant not, I'm Elsie? Not being, I'm not being dishonest or, 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 or trying to avoid your questions. It's just, this is an active investigation. and that's Are you under practice. investigation? If you're not under investigation, no, when you learned of this, the incident, should be immaterial. The incident's under investigation. The day after we demanded internal memos from the police department, the chief personally asked the GBI to criminally investigate his own officers. Roswell City Attorney has used that criminal investigation to keep secret the memos that would prove what the police chief knew and when he knew it. You handed Sergeant Elsie. The, the, Supervisor the, of the Year in April. Did you know before that? It's a simple yes or no question. I wasn't aware of all of the circumstances surrounding the incident. But you knew of the incident? I was aware of, of an incident, but as, with all the specifics of the incident, I was not aware of all of the specific I information see. in the incident. 
The police chief knew when this photo was taken of the incident that is now the subject of a criminal investigation by the Fulton County DA. I feel violated. Well, well, we don't care. We feel violated law to us. Three officers have been fired. The police department's supervisor of the year was demoted. The deputy chief suddenly retired. And this morning, the chief of police resigned. You want to be arrested for trespassing for showing up to a police award ceremony? They, they don't want you in there. Well, the only people who aren't allowed in are the press. No. Did you check invitations? No. He's not pressed. This He's is not outrageous. Pressed. You know it's outrageous. We don't have any in. right to go to a ceremony. We don't have any right to go to a no, meeting where the don't. public is no. present and city council members no. are present in it's city a hall. It's private invited meeting. Do you realize the chutzpah of a public official saying we can't be in city hall? Your garbage with reporting doesn't do anything about this. Garbage reporting. Is yes. there something we've gotten factually wrong? I'm not saying there is or isn't. You're calling our know. reporting garbage reporting? I have no problem with you myself being in there. You just said call our reporting garbage reporting counselor. Yeah, if you're trying to say that you're entitled to be in there, then it is.